Welcome really back from the are. break, everyone. I'm Brainiac. I'm here to help. Can I help you? Fashion suggests maybe we can bring Barshala back as an otter. <laughs> as I like that idea, mm -hmm. she would be pretty useless in a battle. <laughs> how much? How, how many, much? How many legs does this otter? Oh, have? is it a dire otter? How much uh, power do you think it drains to create an otter? Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, let's take care of some business. So, for those of you who are uh, uh, just joining us or not with us, if you do exclamation point, <laughs> for those of you who are not with us, listen to what I say and come join us. Uh, if you do exclamation point tips or exclamation point unlocks, you can see how and what you can donate for in order to influence the rest of tonight's game. I know you have only seen bits and pieces of your wild machinations at play, but don't worry, we are going to get to all of this. So, uh, with that in mind, we have some subbed up rerolls that came in during that last long extended encounter. Let's hand them out. Posh Panda sends their reroll to boop boop. Havana Mahoney. Wow, oh, gosh, thank you. Very good for you. D20 Monkey sends their reroll to a Megan K. Uh RJ Canuck sends their reroll to Garav Galati. Bam. And finally, Morton Interitum. I'm not sure I'm saying that right. I'm sure I'm not. Sends their reroll to Eric Riker. Nice. Thank you, sir. Bam. So uh, keep in mind a couple things. Uh, at any point, you can invoke uh, Klaus, the roaming medbot, to come and uh, administer healing Klaus. to you <clears throat> as necessary. Uh, uh, you have used I know that god, so that is now dispensed with. Um, you have double inspiration still. We haven't done a lot of rolling. That's fine. <clears throat> uh, okay. Well, we got we got some places, didn't we? Very good. <clears throat> so, uh, before you go, uh, Alara says the ship is in a dangerously fragile condition. We are going to retreat to the quarantine pods. Uh, these are designed for. Uh, diseased creatures who have some sort of uh, dramatically contagious uh, condition to be jettisoned from the ship. We're going to use them essentially as uh, emergency escape pods should the need arise. Uh, it seems like a safe and uh, uh, defensible place, plus it has the advantage of being sealed since as you are no doubt aware, the Silver Plague is slowly making its way through the remainder of the ship. Um, we will be in contact through these wristband communicators, which we have so graciously and conveniently uh, supplied. But there are a couple other things which we would like to grant you before you go about the rest, fulfilling the rest of your mission. Those things are, hmm, that's not it, that's not it, that's it. Uh, you may find uh, this useful, and they get out, so they get out all these giant, like plastic, you know, steel cornered suitcases. What and they flip them open, and they pull out a thing that uh, is essentially a small metal cylinder that has a strange band of chain mail around it, <clears throat> and it has a variety of knobs, and it it also has some sort of like spinning glittery platter that kind of goes around the 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 top of the thing, right? And uh, they pull this out. It's fairly heavy. It probably weighs about 20 pounds. Uh, this is a light warping field generator. It essentially warps light around you in a 10-foot radius. It functions for one minute. What does that mean? Uh, when light is warped around you, you are no longer visible to anyone outside the field. You're invisible. Wow. OK. That's quite useful. How yeah. many, you have one of those? Do you have more? The, uh, we were not able to escape our conclave with much equipment. Understood. <clears throat> um, we have uh, six EMP spikes. So they, they, they show these things. They're, essentially, they look a lot like uh, a very fancy version of, <laughs> of a, a camping tent spike, right? That you would hammer in. Um, but they have some other electromechanical equipment attached to it. Uh, and they say when, when these contact, when these are armed and, and they contact a surface, they give off a detonation in, in a uh, five foot radius, which negates all electronics for six seconds. All right. 
Hmm. There are six of those. Six seconds is very specific. <laughs> One round. <laughs> uh, they get out a, a, sh a short cylinder that has, it looks like some sort of crystal or lens on one end, and it has kind of a knob on the end, and it has some sort of switch on it, and uh, there they go. Uh, this is a very old and somewhat antiquated weapon, but we happen to pick it up. It has some sentimental value. Perhaps now that sentimental value can be put to some practical use. Uh, this is a <laughs> uh, colloquially referred to as a lightsaber. Oh, because it has light. Yeah, and this blade of light, blazing plasma I light, mean, comes out from it. I'll, I'll hold on to it, I guess. <laughs> Be careful. One end is very dangerous, and the yeah. other end is only mildly dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Reminds me, lightsaber. you know, I mean, most swords are that way, so, you know. Cool. 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 That's fine. I got, finally got my fucking lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> Final episode of the show, you get it! <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then, uh, finally, there's one piece of equipment that we took with us more out of safety's sake than anything else, but perhaps you will find yourself in a moment of crisis and dire need. Um, I believe you're familiar with this, and they pull up this big case, and then there's this other separate case, and then there's this third case, and they flip it open, and you see that there's this long series of tubes that they kind of screw together, and then they open this other box, and there is this oversized football-shaped uh, item uh, that says Fat Boy on the side and has a couple of fins attached to it. What? And uh, they say, this is a... Um, a shoulder-mounted nuclear missile. Yeah, we've run into those before. Yes. Uh, it has a limited range and a limited area of effect, but it is extremely potent within that range and oh, yeah. area. We've been in the middle of it. I find that highly unlikely. Yeah. Yeah. How? I will take your word for it. We've seen a number of strange things today. I accept you at your face value. Um, finally, we have one other device here, and uh, <clears throat> he pulls out something that looks like an owl, right? Um, but it has a different series of buttons on it, and it's attached to a fairly heavy uh, uh, battery case, right? And so it almost, it, 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 it's, it's a case that, that looks like the dice case, right? So it's about yay big, but it's about yay deep. It, the, the case itself probably weighs 30 pounds, and then it has this extended tube and column thing on it, right? Uh, and he says, this is a limited area uh, private subnet uh, scrambler. Uh, what this will enable you to do is if you activate it, it will enable you uh, 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 one time to uh, override and issue new commands to a assortment of uh, 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 mechanical life forms who fall uh, susceptible to it within a 100-foot radius. All right. So essentially, you can hack a certain number of, you know, it's, it's a randomly determined determined number of robots um, within the area of effect <clears throat> of this thing when you activate it. For how long? Uh, it, it overrides it as long as the battery goes, and the battery's good for a minute. Mm. That could be useful. You might, you might be able to get five minutes out of it if you choose to just do a few, you know, do a, a, a short, a smaller number of, you know. Essentially what it does is you turn it on and it tries to hack every robot in the area of effect. If you were to, you, he tells you you can kind of like dial it in and single out like one direction. <clears throat> and, the band? And if you were to use that to uh, hack, hack, hack a smaller them? number of robots, it's, it's really a matter of like how many robots does it have to give commands to an override, which d determines the duration of how long the hacking works. So it's like works. five minutes for one direction and like maybe an hour if it's just Zane. <laughs> if, yeah, if you, j if you just did one robot, it would probably last, I don't know, <laughs> 10, maybe 15 minutes, right? <clears throat> So there you go. I appreciate you not going for the easy Harry Styles pick. I didn't say the only name I knew of that band. <laughs> I don't know what You might have made that up. I can't yeah, confirm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not entirely positive that there is a Zane. 
<laughs> All right. So, um. Is there a baby? What are these that's, noises? That's me. Someone's like, I don't understand people that like just like take voice calls on their speakerphone yeah. in public yeah. or like where other people can Is that hear. What's happening? All right. That's so, <clears throat> that's that. All right. Um. You guys head up to the terraforming mech storage, and and they <laughs> they go into the like the they go into the closet and 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 pull out like you, you get little, you each get little jumpsuits that you get to wear that are <gasps> all coordinated, wow. um, and are also apparently wired so that your oh, uh, they can kind of imprint on your um, neurologic impulses, and you can drive these things just essentially by like, they walk like you walk, right? You, you walk in the thing and it walks. Keep in mind that these are not particularly to scale. These things are probably 15 feet tall and, uh, and 10 to 12 if feet wide. If there's one that's right? slightly larger than the other ones, I would like to be in that one. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, well, so these are what they look like, right? So there's one with, a, I, I will tell you, uh, so this one, has, that one has a buzz saw. Right. Um, this one has a pulverizing cannon that looks like it's used to break up rocks and things like that. Uh, th this one, uh, uh, no, it's, it's this. Radiated. Yeah. So, so this one can grind material with, with. It has like a wrecking claw in one hand, but then it, it sprays concrete with the other. Ooh. Okay. Skin gravity. Uh, and then this one is a, a, a cutting and welding torch. It, it, mm. it flips between whatever you want it to do. You can either uh, either join metal together or it can cut metal apart. So. No, I think I want the concrete one. We should attach the fat boy to one of these. Um, I, I'm not picky. I'll just take whatever's left. I'm chained up, bro. All right. I'm Chainsaw Bro. <laughs> Which one's the concrete one? I think that one that you have there. And then... Well, this... This is the one that crushes stuff, and this is the one that welds. So, yeah, this is concrete. Yeah, it crushes and Yeah, concrete. that's the concrete sprayer yeah. and the crusher. And this is the welder cutter. Uh, and that's the pulverizing cannon. I can be the cannon. Okay. These colors all, all mm -hmm. make sense, too. We got mm -hmm. grayish, gold... All right. Green. Green. What? Man, 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 man. It's like a goss cannon on it. I go mad with power because I'm three feet tall and now I'm... Oh, his name's Blade. <laughs> Fifteen feet tall. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Alaris says, uh, we are going to retreat to the quarantined pod, and uh, in the last-ditch scenario, we will eject from the ship. Um, our Our... Hearty best uh, 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 of luck to you on your mission, and uh, may Busharla, wherever she is, and She's in there. whatever she is, uh, give her blessing to you. Mm -hmm. You'll take care of the bird songs for us, will you? Yes, yes, of course. Thank you. What what do they eat again? They keep requesting. I told you. Some sort of bird, some sort of fried bird. Uh, Chicken. I don't think you have that, but whatever food stuffs you have, they, they like spare. protein. We will secure some nutrient paste. That's fine. All right. That's yeah. fine. All right. <clears throat> um, so you She's begin. Not like you that. Get, <laughs> begin mounting up. Uh, you get inside your mechs. Uh, everything is is. Uh, it, 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 you know, you feel incredibly powerful once you get inside these things. They're, they they move very swiftly and easily, um, but you can tell that there's immense strength behind these things. But as you know, the cockpit on the on on your mechs is beginning to go down. Avril, you you have a little bit of a, a headache, and. I'm you, pregnant. You rub your forehead and you're like, oh god, is there? There's something about because you know that you have to kind of pull this like hood over your, over, over the top of your head, right? Um, in order for all the little n neuro interface studs to kind of have contact with your skin and whatnot. And you're like, is there maybe maybe it wasn't designed for halflings or something like that? And then all of a sudden you get just like this splitting pain through your forehead, and uh, you, you guys are kind of like look over because you see the mech kind of stutter a little bit that she's in. 
And as you look through, you see her reach up and grab and then like pull back and, and uh, look at her hand and there's blood on your hand, right? And suddenly you see that, that uh, Avril grows an eye stalk out of the center of her forehead. Just Darling. Like, oh. and, uh, and, and a little mouth cracks open underneath. And it says, ah, I see you are still trying to defeat me. Little matter, soon your lives will be over and I will have the power of a god. <laughs> the fuck? Avril, how is uh, Xanathar in your head like that? Is that something halflings can do? No, no, no. That's not. No, no, Wait, no. Has that been a thing that's happened before, or? No, you idiots. No, <laughs> no, no. That's not normal or okay. No. We're never talking about it again. I like that. I like that. Let's. let's Say like a badger, Avril doesn't look so bad now. <laughs> What if there's more in your head, though? My mech punches Grayson's mech. Out the hole. You hole breach? You trifle an ass hole breach? There, there's, there, there's a shaft behind you that's filled with water. You're back to <laughs> backwards. Eaten but alive by a bigger frog. <laughs> well, a, a robot frog. A giant robot frog swims up from the depth. But <laughs> inside that frog is the other frog that almost killed you. He's like, hey, bro. Yeah, that's right. yeah he's controlling and just, you. Just as, just, as, just as he pushes the button to like clamp down on your mech, suddenly a little eye stalk bursts forth from his forehead and goes, oh, 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 I see you. And he's like, yes, that's right, yes. Ah. <laughs> well, this is canon. All right. What if there are more in your head, though? <laughs> it's just a trick. Xanathar is really powerful, and he can probably do that to any one of us if he wants to. But what? Nothing. What? What? What the fuck what? did you say? Nothing. What the fuck did you say? Nothing. What did you say? Nothing. What did you I say? Didn't say, anything. say it now or I will fucking kill you. I was just breathing. <laughs> what did you say? I was just, just exhaling. <laughs> I'm not leaving. My mat crosses its arms. <laughs> <laughs> I am not leaving until you repeat what the fuck you said. How do we know if it's not in our heads though? I, I have no idea. What, what did you say? Yeah, that is, we can't do anything about it. thing in my head. Can we not? If we made new us. We don't have time for it. Yeah, we, we don't have time for that. And we can't make Dying. new us because we started the Barshala thing. <clears throat> what did you say? Nothing. He said it's because maybe that you read that book. What book? The book that he gave you. That made me smart? You guys are just jealous. I'm not. I'm just, it's him. I don't think it's the book. I don't know. You're just jealous. He's a beholder. He's very powerful. Well, I'm gonna laugh when it happens to you. You're still dumb. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> um, so, Megan Pan over there? Yeah, just a little bit. I'm trying not to. <laughs> it's a long game, guys. Yeah. We just had a bathroom break. Well, it wasn't she, long enough. She was on her phone the whole time, so. <laughs> you trying to smash by the symbol? That's what it looks like. We're playing Smash. All right, so. In uh, what way? You guys. It looks like that. Essentially, uh, come out of the uh, terraforming bay down here, right? That's where <laughs> this is. It's a new chair. Megan keeps <clears throat> kicking me. It's not on purpose. It's because you watched her pee. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't watching, I was keeping my eyes very forward. Sure, I'm pervert. <laughs> I'm just drawing an extremely high level Rendering? Render. Well, I mean, the scale here is like, you know, wildly out of whack, right? Like, this is not how big you are. 
<clears throat> on this map. But you can see that deck 21 is up here somewhere. So Xanathar hollow out a giant squid or convince one to go to space? Is that how it's... <laughs> Maybe he made it. Some sort of underdark creature. If it were a purple worm, maybe. <clears throat> um, so along the, uh, I don't know though, was this the longitudinal axis? I don't know, whatever. <clears throat> along this axis, there are a couple of, uh, of transport shafts that you can tell must be used to move like heavy cargo up and down between different levels of the ship and whatnot, right? <clears throat> and they're sunk in slightly here. And there are, coming off of this thing, a number of uh, service gantries that would pull stuff out of this cargo area and then move it around within that level of the ship, right? Just FYI. Um, now, <clears throat> normally your journey across the surface of the ship would be fairly fraught in terms of having to climb over things, um, deal with you know, various security devices that are embedded around the ship and whatnot. Uh, th those problems are allayed by the fact that you are in these mechs, right? I got so you, you can either cut through, or there there are um, booster jets in the thing, so you can do sh short jobs, uh, jobs, short hops and jumps. <clears throat> so you can propel yourselves up the side of the ship really without much issue. Is like a space version of chutes and ladders we're playing. These things <clears throat> going up and down. Are they going to grab us and like pull us? Uh, you know, how close do you want to get to them? They don't seem to be active for oh, the most okay. part, right? Gotcha. They're, they're, they're essentially idle equipment that, or, or non-functioning equipment. Um, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Uh, 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 uh. So you're um, going to start in that corner, though? Yeah, you're, you're, you're down here in this corner, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to, we're not going to, like, we're not going to play through the obstacle course of oh, okay. what, what it takes for you to get movement? up to this thing, right? Yeah, that's all minutia that... We're, we're not going to deal with tonight. <clears throat> um, but as you look around, you can notice a couple of things. <clears throat> uh, you can see that there are definitely places in the hull here where the ship has suffered damage and there's ruptures and it's actually open to, to transwarp space and whatnot. <clears throat> uh, so those are problems. <clears throat> but the thing that strikes you about that is you can also see that there are robots streaming out of these areas in some places, making their way toward the ship. Um, sort of a long... <clears throat> Now, the interesting thing about this particular trail is these guys come out of here and then they go back inside the ship and it looks like they're traveling somewhere within the deck. So when you pass by some of these other massive kind of gaps in the superstructure, you can see into the ship and see the decks that have been decompressed, but, but there are robots within who are milling about and collecting things and, 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 um, and moving within the structure itself. So you can see that. Um, you can also see <clears throat> the, the, it's honestly kind of beautiful. There's this a, a weird wavering, irradiating purple waves of light that just kind of like, just roll off the, the front of the ship and just keep passing over your head uh, as if you were in, as if you were underwater and you were watching waves like continually break over your heads, that's what it looks like, except that it's purple and it's this scintillating, brilliant spectrum, this light show that 
you know, if you had time, you could probably just spend hours watching this kind of cascading effect pass over your head and just kind of shimmer over you. Um, but you also see what look like kind of big rolling and bucking waves of this thing that don't look like part of the pattern. They, 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 they hit, they stretch out, the, the, the sparkling kind of turns into a dull, dim glow, and then for just for a moment you think to yourself, like, maybe I can see like some rock or some sort of earth or boulders or something like that. But then the rippling waves come back, passing back uh, across, and it and it engulf you once again. Um, the final thing that you notice as you're traversing the outside of the hull is that there is an there's there's a section of the ship that appears to have some sort of. Uh, a series of towers that are built up kind of like one after the other after that and each one is a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger and it forms kind of this strange fin right <clears throat> and you see energy rippling along that fin and it it forms this kind of like halo of plasma that spirals out into the the cascading violet kind of purple energy and it forms this kind of like spiral in the cascade and it seems to like direct everything towards a point that you can't see it just sort of like all kind of converges as a point in the distance that's just this scintillating orange kind of like whirling ball um yeah so those are the things that you see as you're clomping your way around the outside of the ship uh, how do you want to, you know where you're starting from, you got directions from um, Alaris about that, you know where you're going to. All of this stuff, you largely, like all, all of the features on the outside of the ship, you largely could have been told about. Uh, how would you like to approach the strange craft on deck 21? Just make a beeline for it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Avoid anything that looks dangerous, but most direct path. Mm -hmm. You said we had jump jets or something for short hops? Yeah, you can do little short hops. So you, you head up that way. All right. So uh, everybody give me a perception check, please. Um. <laughs> Natural one. It's an auspicious way to start. Uh, 15. 11. Um, 12. 14. All right, so 15 and 14 are our two highest. All right, very good. So, um, so with 11 and 12, it's very obvious once you get closer. <clears throat> um, once you get closer, that, that these robots that are all streaming towards the ship, they apparently are under some sort of direction or compulsion to load stuff into the ship. You see them carrying all kinds of strange metal objects and whatnot. Some some are cases, some are long tubes, some are pipes, you know, all kinds of weird shapes that are all getting loaded inside the craft here. It looks like a fairly busy hub of activity. And, uh, you know, again, if we are to look at the side of the thing, you can tell that there's a lot of stuff going kind of sort of up into the superstructure of the of the craft. So it, it it it's getting loaded up into the belly of this thing. The other thing that you notice is that there are several large uh, flexible columns or enormous cables or power conduits that are sunk into the belly of the deck. Who knows how far or, or, or where exactly everything is connected, but you can see just this thrum of bright greenish energy that is like pulsing up through these um, through these power power cables, and there are six of those, and it's, it 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 must be an enormous amount of energy that's getting drawn up into the ship. Uh, who got who got fourteen? I did. 
So it occurs to you that you can't, you know, just directly clomp your way over to this thing without some of these robots noticing you. They're probably going to, you know, they're, they're, they're going to go, well, wait, something's going on. You're going to attract attention if, if you continue to just directly beeline for these things. I, it's up to you what you do with that information. Um, and you got 15? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So your roguish instincts kick in, and you do realize that this, 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 car, this, this cargo channel must, must be broken or not powered, or there's some sort of issue with it because they're not using it. And you might be able to kind of sneak up along the edge here, and there's a service gantry that, that, that would normally you know, deliver stuff elsewhere around this deck. It's broken, it's just sort of like hanging over, but you might be able to use that as cover to kind of actually get up on top of this other craft without, if, if, if you pulled it off and kind of hugged this wall, you might not attract as much attention. And that's us trying to get in the organic craft or yes. get in level 21 of Into the... the organic craft. Okay. Uh, well, guys, if, if, if we want to avoid these robots, I think maybe we kind, of, we kind of cut up this way and then just shimmy along the, the ledge up there. Mm. And we mm. might be able to get to drop on them. Okay, yeah, we want to avoid them or else we'll just have to deal with robots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Whatever which, they are. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? Do they have eyes? Dreams? <laughs> Can they love? I don't know. <laughs> They're like constructs. So maybe? I guess it depends on the construct. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So uh, is there any, uh, other than, you know, doing your best to kind of stay in the shadow of the, of the cargo channel, uh, is there anything else that you want to do to, to avoid detection? I mean, we could use the light warper, but do you think we need to It's yet? too small. Well, it's too small? Yeah. If you all hugged up really close together, you might be able to get... Mm, it, for sure, it, it, it does a 10-foot radius, right? So you could get two people in it for sure, possibly three. Um, you'd have to hug up pretty tight to get all four of you in it, but... I mean, you could, you could, you could probably, you could comfortably use it on for two. You could practically use it for three. With difficulty, you could use it on all four of you. Mm. We could also use the what is it, private area scrambler, and and then we could, I don't know, we could send all the the little robots away. Mm. Okay. I mean, it would only work for a few seconds, but it's like. I don't know, maybe once they have the command set in them, maybe they'll just... Do we know if the robots are actually against us, or are they just defending the ship? I mean, the, I mean, the fucking well, constructs we've met on the ship at best have been neutral towards us, at best. That's, that's you true. know this, if they're defending the ship, they're not attacking this craft, right? It's very obvious that they're taking stuff Thank you, uh, Bastion Fields. Yeah. Um, it's very clear that they're taking stuff from the ship and loading it into this craft. Oh, okay. Gotcha. You um, know, what if we, they said it after 60 feet outside the space area, you just fucking, what, go into the void or something? We could just be like, real quick, all of you go to the void. And then by the time they know what's going on, poof, they're gone. I don't think we can get all of them now. We might be able to get a good chunk of them. I mean, if we get, if we can shimmy up close to the craft, and then set that off, you know, within a hundred feet, we could get all of them to piss off. Could we just have them attack the craft? Well, we want to get inside of the craft, so we should not destroy it beforehand. Oh, we do want to get inside the. Craft. Isn't that what we're doing? I thought we we're going inside the deck. We really just want to stop it from draining power. However, it's doing it. Right. Yeah. It's draining the power from the ship, so it's essentially a leech. But it's a giant. I mean, it might be easier to go in and pull out its innards than try and kill it from the outside, you know? I mean, you do have that God's bomb or whatever you two went through. And mm -hmm. it doesn't, it probably won't do much on the constructs, but it seems to do a hell of a lot to 
us also, flesh bags. Also, Xanathar has somebody on a leash. And we don't know who. But right. it's probably someone we care about. I just think maybe we should go in and investigate a little bit before we just blow it to smithereens. All right. You think Xanathar is on there? Mm. I don't know. It seems like a 50-50 chance. All right. Yeah, we should get in there. You're right. But what do you, what do we want to do about the, the robots outside? Uh, I think we well, save it till we get inside. Didn't you say idea. we could sneak around them? Yeah, we, I think we could sneak up on, but if we wanted to be certain and get rid of a few of them in the process, we could use that pri private area scrambler. But yeah. just to tell them to, you know, go destroy themselves and give us a, a few seconds to make our way in the whatever entrance is over there. Mm. Or if someone has a different idea. No, that's that sounds good. I'm just worried that we won't be able to get, uh, uh, we have to get near them to do that. So. Yeah, that's why we just kind of shimmy until mm -hmm. we get close. And then okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go for it. Especially if they notice it, just turn it on. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, so, Claire, what's what's the plan here? I'm sorry. Stay, tell me what tell me what you're what you're executing we're here. Sneak up with our robots as close as possible, mm -hmm. then turn on the robot scrambly thing. Private mm -hmm. area scrambler. Yeah, to have them destroy themselves as many as we can. Okay. And then we go inside. <clears throat> the way that the the way that the gantry comes out of the cargo channel and goes up over the ship, there's a lot of activity. There's a lot of activity underneath the ship, right? But the gantry essentially comes up and goes, kind of hangs over it, right? Okay. So you can, you'll be able to get some of them from if you're trying to use the gantry as cover. Okay. Otherwise, you'd have to just sort of like dash out and kind of set the thing off because the mo the majority of the bots are clustered around this loading cargo bay umbilical connection here. One of us could right. uh, use that field generator to get close and then set it off. Combine the two things. Field generator. The thing that makes us not visible. Oh yeah. Well, what it, 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 do we die if we get out of our robots? Yeah. Probably. Pretty, <laughs> Probably. Pretty yeah. Sure. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, okay. <clears throat> All right. Wait, so, don't you have a space suit? Oh, yeah. Are you still wearing that? I mean, yeah. Yeah, your suit actually interfaces with your mech. You don't have to put on the uniform. But would he be okay outside of the mech in space? Yeah. For a certain amount of time. I mean, it worked underwater. This is like water, but with stars. <laughs> there are no stars. It's just. Well, what the void. fuck ever's out here? The void. It's like water, but the, that doesn't sound as nice. Does water it? has stars at night. Do you look at the ocean? You can see them. Dude, that's clear. a good fucking point. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. All right. And there's starfish. So, are you going to use the dire starfish? <laughs> are you going to use the are you going to use the field generator to, uh, you know, essentially c cover some of you up, right? Or no. camo my camouflage some My of suggestion you. was if is if his suit works out in space, just have him sneak up there, because okay. he's a lot. You're a lot less noticeable as. Grayson size. But the robots then. can't see you anyways. You're a doppelganger. That's mm. such a good point. But, but, but that's <laughs> they, not the case anymore. I don't. Yeah, think. they might be able to. Oh, because the data stream. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Um. I'm risk it. Oh. Yeah. Of course you do. I'm glad you were I'm kidding. Frank, what do you think, Grayson? Do you think you can just sneak up there or like set it and throw it? Man. I'm more confident in the test. yeah. I'm more confident in throwing than s sneaking. Wait, can you throw in space? <laughs> uh, yep. You yeah. just it there's may some, not land. There's some semblance of gravity here, right? On what I assume mm -hmm. that's coming from that's robots our, magnetized to the ship. That's our mechs. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we would just float away. Actually, I think if you tried to throw it, it would go that way. 
it will go behind, depending upon whichever way the ship is currently headed. Well, but the, no. we're in a field, though. It, yeah, oh. it would be equal and opposite force, so throwing it would still make it go forward because it's already got the force. Um, but you wouldn't go back. But, Unless your feet are back. But it wouldn't have anywhere to land. It would just keep going. Yeah. Wait, Probably. I have. I still Assume. have that remote. Yeah, if you missed it, would it would miss badly. The, I still have the spider. You talking about? Or are you talking about? Something? No, the the remote control that controlled those other robots. Oh. Would that work on these guys? You don't know. These do look like a different type of robot than you've encountered. Mm-hmm. What do you think, Grayson? Sounds like a plan. So, better. I don't have a better one. I mean, but do you want to s sneak up there? Or Give do them you a wanna... shot. <laughs> okay. okay. I mean, if we're in the thick of it and this thing works, like, they're not going to be able to attack us because they're going to do what we want. So, really, if you've just dashed up there in the mech, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then we could be right behind you in case it goes sideways. But, I mean, if they start coming for you, just set the thing off in the midst of them and boom, they're heading out to their void, voidy graves. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So. Will uh, it disable our robots? I don't think so. What? You're in mechs, you're not in robots, right? I don't know the difference. Mm, all right. <clears throat> well, you're, you're, you're driving these things. They're under your okay, command. Okay, okay. Um, they're, not, they're not independent creatures that take commands, right? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. That, that's the difference. Okay, so the plan is the four of you are going to post up somewhere here in the cargo channel? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, this cargo channel, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then how close to the... How, how much distance between, there's the ship, Grayson is gonna go off, how far back away from the ship are you gonna kind of I mean, it feels like that hinge, broken hinge opening gives some cover, right? Yeah, it definitely does. So uh -huh. maybe we could go up there? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Uh, <laughs> Next <you>, army crawl. <laughs> you, you guys collect yourselves at the, uh, at the base of the service gantry, why don't, why don't, and then you're gonna pull ahead and try and use this uh, hacker scrambler device on the robots that are loading stuff into the belly of the ship, yes? Yep. Very good, so um, why don't you all give me a stealth check to see how well you can stay unobserveded, as it were. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, Reroll. Reroll. Oh, Coming wait. out. Hold on. I, I, I used advantage. Oh, you used so. advantage. Uh, yeah, we'll stick with that. We'll use the reroll. <laughs> so, uh, wait, what just happened? He roll made, for made, a, made a stealth roll. That was All bad. of us? Yeah, everybody. 15. Mm -hmm. 17. Uh, 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 I'll use an important that I'm still I'll use an right? inspiration. That's uh -huh. bad. <laughs> Three and six. Wow, well, that's twelve. All right, but seventeen stealth. Mm-hmm. All right, very good. Mm-hmm. Well, that was like a single digit. <laughs> that was a five. So people, people, what? I'm gonna save that. All right. Um, they all seem decidedly fixed on. Uh, they're moving cargo into this craft, sort of as diligently and as quickly as possible, right? So you guys post up at the base of this gantry and you <laughs> manage to sort of, you know, there's there's something about, <laughs> a, as you're looking at the situation, there's something that's instinctually sort of like wells up within you and you begin to sort of like take on the same gait and movement as the robots. And just for a moment, you know, you manage to move like they move and as a result, you blend in almost perfectly beep, with beep, this beep. mass of, of workers who are... I am an automaton, death to all humans. <laughs> Where did Grayson go? <laughs> Destroy the robots! Right. Binary's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you can... You can get to the edge of the craft and you can see that there's this, you know, this green light is 
also pulsing out of the belly of this thing. And this, this ship is fairly large, and you can see that it's very tall, right? It's, 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 it's not necessarily so much wide as is the kind of this misshapen lump. It's almost like a, like a, like a weird lobster kind of, or, or beetle type of craft, right? Um, as you get closer to it, you can tell that uh, the top skin of the craft, uh, that there are rings of literal like fish eyes set into the, the upper circumference of this thing, right? And they all kind of like twist and, uh, and, and pulse and look in all directions. And as you get closer, you realize that there's also a ring of those eyes along the, the bottom area of this thing that continually like twist and turn and pulse. It's embedded in the skin of this strange creature or craft or both, whatever it is. Um, but you do manage to get within probably uh, 40 feet of the majority of the robots. Uh, you're not going to be able to get some that are on the other side. You can see that they're loading. Uh, the thing that's most disturbing to you is you see them loading these long uh, cylinders with these pointed nose cones and these fins on them, which you have clearly identified, if not through direct experience, through uh, uh, intellectual osmosis here in your time on the ship as some sort of missile technology, right? <clears throat> um, and you see them loading just racks of those things that are coming up out of Deck 21 and getting loaded into the belly of the ship. You also just can feel the, the power that's radiating off of those power cables, those six power cables that are coming into the ship. And uh, and you can tell, like the flush that goes through your through your skin as those waves of power go up, that this is actual radiation. This is God's fire that's coming up through this through this tube. Um, yeah, uh, the interior of the ship looks like it has a combination of metal parts and skin inside. Some sort of strange sack in there. That's what you can take in as you kind of march underneath this thing. What would you like to do? So we'll, I'm detonating this shit. Unless you want one of us to. No. If you get popped out of your mech, though, you'll be all right, you know? I'm He's not, not in his mech. He's already over there. He's in his suit. He left his mech with you guys. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Beep. <laughs> 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 okay, all right. Why don't you do 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 Let's see, what am I looking for here? Why don't you roll Charisma? <clears throat> um why don't you roll ten die six for me, please? That's how many robots are going to be affected by this thing. Uh, 39. 39. All right. That's that's above average roll. Okay, very good. And what command are you what <laughs> command are you issu issuing to them? Uh, what command are we? Um, you got this. We we trust you. Pray. <laughs> Just plug in pray. <laughs> they push you into space. <laughs> Dismantle the power cables. Okay. All right. <clears throat> um, so the, the, um, a mass of them, uh, you know, maybe a, around a third of them or so, uh, sort of turn and stop what they're doing and immediately begin uh, uh, attacking the power cables. <clears throat> um, they begin doing this, and within a couple, you know, with, within 10 to 20 seconds, you see the other robots begin attacking the uh, uh, the robots who are attacking the power cables, but there are these big flares of energy, 
And you see a figure descend down from uh, along one of these. They they have they have set up sort of like some temporary like cargo lifts that are coming yep. out of the base of this thing, and you see a, a tall, broad-shouldered figure that looks like it's wearing full plate mail with a, a full plate helmet, but it's it's he's about eight feet tall, and he has. Another figure wearing what looks like maybe some sort of like elven chainmail or something like that, and a full helmet uh, on a leash, and he looks down and he, and uh, you can't hear anything because it's so loud here and whatnot. But he's clearly like directing uh, the the robots to you know stop what they're doing and, and attack those guys and da 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 da. So there's this whole fracas that's breaking out. All right. Um... He does not seem to spot you for the moment. What would you guys like to do? Well, this is our opportunity to try to get on the ship, right? I think so. We should try to get on In the, the ship. In the chaos. Right, yeah. Okay. Uh, how do we do that in our mechs? They got boosters. I know, but they're probably too big to enter the ship. How, what is the size difference of this ship? Well, t so you could, <laughs> you could just go in this giant cargo bay area that's open right now, right? Um, that would be the direct approach. <clears throat> uh, you could climb up the gantry and then you'd have to, I mean, you can't, haven't seen the whole thing, but you haven't seen any other uh, entrances that are your size, but one of you is a plasma cutting mech. You could <laughs> theoretically just cut your way into this thing. I right? love that. Is that you? Who's the? I'm, I Who's this guy? That's me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're the plasma cutter. He cuts and welds. You're the cutter wel welder. Okay. Uh, so it's it's. Do we decide to go in the cargo bay, which is open, or weld our way, or cut our way into this, a different? I location? think use the use the chaos as cover and go up and make our own entrance. Yeah, we don't know where we need to go in this thing. Right. Thank right. you, Mary Mercenary. Wow. Oh. Thirty-four bits. Uh, uh, okay, let's do that then. Grayson, come come back. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, you can get back without without much issue. Why don't you all give me another stealth check to uh, to 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 go up the gantry and get on top of the ship? But I will give you advantage because of the chaos that you have created. Shoo! If you want to use bumps, that's up to you. Wow. I got a twenty-three. I got a thirteen. Not twenty, baby. Mm -hmm. I got 11. 26. Oh, right. 11 you got those numbers with advantage? 13? 11 and 13. Yeah. Oh. I, I got no stealth. He's oh. terrible at stealth. Not my thing. All right. Um, so, you guys do uh, wind your way up along the gantry here and whatnot. Um, and you, you get on top of this thing. <clears throat> uh, and you don't see what looks like an obvious entrance or anything like that uh, on, on the top of this thing. You do see that, you know, there's clearly some sort of crystal dome or something like that that may be like a, you know, a pilot chamber or bridge kind of area that's, that's up front here. Mm -hmm. um, but there's this hump on top which is, is closed up. So, you're probably going. You're going to have to probably cut your way in, right? Okay. Uh, the, the the bummer about all of that is, uh, you you trip as you come off of the gantry and you step on one of these eyes that rings around the top Ooh. of the thing. Squish you know, it, make sure and it, you squish it. You know, it. and it it literally like gives a blink reflex and then like turns on you. Uh, all right. Squ punch. Squish it. <laughs> oh my god, stab it. I'm sure. Chainsaw. Which 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 mech are you in? Are you the chainsaw mech? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah, it's like it's like uh, I'll fix this and then I'm just like <laughs> So you plunge your chainsaw into the surface of the oh god, ship oh god, oh god. and the other eyes that are that are you know so are embedded loud. in yeah. the top. I just start of, stabbing eyes and being louder. <laughs> yeah, they, they begin to pop up and they kind of look at you. They all kind of like pop up and look at you. Right? Yeah. I can't tell this is a cannon. This is on par for us. All right. So, uh, you've... I'm not good at this! Yeah, you, you've, you've alerted the ship to your presence. So much power! 
Um, how would you like to proceed? Um, I'm start faster. Yeah. I'm gonna start cut. Cutting. Okay. You okay. start cutting your well, way in. I, I have a thing that shoots, right? Yeah, yeah. You have that that pulse cannon, right? So, um, I mean, if you all cooperate, this, you have no problem creating a. Ooh, a, I cover a, that eye in concrete. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're cutting your right. you, you you run some interference and you start <laughs> start covering eyes with this splurge, splurge, nice. splurge, splurge concrete stuff. And they're like, huh? All right. I'm not. I don't hurt, but I can't see. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Can you uh, grab me a Kleenex there, please? For okay. Behind you. Thank you. This all goes away. While you're out of time, the Coke of the Zero. Oh, what? The Coke of the Zero. The Coke of the Zero. The soda that melts your brain. Wait, does it hurt your brain? No, whatever. Uh, no, my brain found a good. It's not. Oh, it makes no. it, my, good. my brain makes it nice. Makes a nice. Thing. It's a me, Mario. It's a me, yeah, Alex Brain. Oh, jeez, guys, that's Alex Brain talking to you. <laughs> All right. Oh, I sure do love my soda. <laughs> mm. That's that. Why is that not my GTA character? Oh, hey guys, don't do your crimes. I'm a police officer now. Um, Stop are you just the doing the old oh, guy cool. from Family Guy? Yeah. Is that what you're doing? Well, uh, no, I'm doing Whoa. the, the, the greased up deaf guy. Never gonna catch me. Oh man, the most sensitive character mm -hmm. ever created. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> wow, <laughs> this is amazing. Um, you you burn your way in here, I would say. Sweet. Uh, well, I, I come crashing in, into this yeah. sawing yeah. through, screaming the yeah. entire time. Let's put you in oh here. Oh my god, why are you screaming? <laughs> Let's put you in here. In space, right. no one can hear us. <laughs> well, I somehow am heard. Except for us. Yeah. We can hear him through the... Stop, Every... stop yelling in our ears! Ah, oh, yeah, the ah, comm link. Stop! I just realized that if we cut a hole, we can't get out of our mechs. <laughs> nah, did fine. you want to? Yeah, so there, I mean, there is sort of this no, you like can close the door. You there, can... there is this huge. Oh. Yep, yeah, and all these doors, like instinctively, like sure, uh, zip close. I mean, I can you. get out of my mech. <clears throat> all right. I can get out of mine too. I'll just. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you too. I can too. Whoop. <laughs> oh God. Ah. All right, so oh you find God. yourselves uh, inside this strange craft. It is a combination of, uh, uh, it looks like it's skin that's been grown over metal, right? Wait, metal. Yeah. so that person, that uh, eight foot tall and then the person on leash aren't on the ship? They didn't go into the ship, right? They were still outside? They were underneath, right? They, they came under down from the belly of the ship down onto the surface of the, of, of the larger ship. Right? Well, last we saw, they didn't go back in the ship. Last we saw, they were trying to corral the robots to right. stop from eating the power conduit cables, like because that's lasted for a minute, right? Right. So during that minute, you guys jumped up and you were you're now on top of the ship. This is on top of the ship. Right. Right. So you're here. So we have just to be clear, you saw them down here, right? And they're and you're now up on here. Now where they are in relation to you, they're probably somewhere below you. What is your question? Well, I'm just saying we have a couple of choices. We either seal this hole and get out and explore, or since we know that person on the leash isn't on the ship, we just destroy it now with the power that these Ooh, constructs give yeah. us. We don't we just, know that. Though. We just walk around in our suits and destroy and explore at the same time. Yeah. But but if that person's on the ship, then we kill him suit. with our mechs. No no no. He means the, the like the, person on a chain. Right. Like saving them. Uh, he, he but we don't know if there's not more people like that on the ship. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, we probably shouldn't do that. I think you and Black Razor hung out too long. What? Why do you say that? I would. I didn't want to kill anything, but you want to destroy a whole ship that might have like innocent life forms on it. We don't know if that's innocent life forms on We it. don't know it doesn't. Yeah. Oh, yeah? True. Well, I can check. Great. Can I check? Great idea, Thon. Can I check? Yeah. I forgot I could check that. I can check that. <laughs> oh, well, you check it. Actually, no, I can't anymore. I'm a redeemer. Oh. <laughs> Lol. What are you going to check? Uh, so, Dawn Razor gives me the ability to sense living things. Uh-huh. Within... Well, the ship is, like, living. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Well, it'll tell me where they are and what oh. what they are. Uh, oh wait, but if the ship's living, ship. is that gonna confuse we're on a weird it? Bug ship that eats planets like from Lex. So you know. <laughs> yeah. How how bad could it be? I yeah. guess. And that was so, for so a, a select a, audience. Yeah, that just joke. find a, a severed robot head that's in love with you, and we'll just get out. Of here. A wow, robot head. these are deep cuts, yeah, man. That oh, show's good. Aware of the presence of tiny or larger creatures within six. That's feet. Black Razor. Does your sword still do that? Yeah, most of this stuff transferred over. Okay, it's just called something different. Except for that, I uh, killed the guy, so I get seven million health. Yeah, that didn't transfer. <laughs> Whoops, miss you, Black Razor. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> tiny or larger creatures within sixty feet of you that aren't constructs or undead. Okay. Within how many feet? 60. The ship's way bigger than 60 feet. Yeah, but at least we can find out from here. Um, yeah, so you do get the sense that the ship itself is an enormous living organism, right? Okay. But it, it, it's actually, uh, 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 you, you know, Dawn Razor tells you it's, it, it, it's almost a collection of creatures, right? Um, that are all that are all interconnected, right? Okay. So it's almost like a, a, a hive mind of different <gasps> pieces of uh, of creature, right? The, it's many voices, but one creature is kind of one way to describe it, right? Okay. So we don't know. <clears throat> uh, so that that's that's tough, but. Um, You, you, that creates a lot of static in terms of like what's immediately within 60 feet of you, but Dawn Razor does suddenly kind of like have this moment of like sucking in its breath. And it tells you Xanathar is here. Oh. Within 60 feet of us? Uh, um. I mean, it didn't I'm, have to be. I, I, I'm not sure how close he is because his presence has changed. It's somehow become augmented. It's oh. different. I know it's him. Okay. All right. But well, it's he's... worse. It's worse? Worse than growing eyeballs out of your head? I said never fucking bring that shit up again. <laughs> right, sorry about that. <laughs> What's in this room? <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so uh, in this room, there's uh, 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 there's a variety of of large metal tanks that you uh, have kind of like intruded upon, and they're very cold to the touch. Wait, clean it. What? Clean All right, so I gonna have a Kleenex. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Large um, metal tanks, they're cold to the touch. They're kind of humming slightly. You want to seal this hole or just leave it? I think if we want out of this room, we should probably seal it. Yeah. OK. That's all you, concrete. No. Oh. You weld. But I need something to be there to weld it to. You can't weld concrete. Well, I'm not welding. It's just the concrete. I don't. Because I need, well, I guess you're going to put something there, and I weld it to the hole. Just put the piece you cut out back. Yeah. It flew into space, probably, right? Yeah, we cut uh. a hole and probably. It, so uh, regardless of how you manage to finally arrange to <laughs> close spend a, an hour a hole in the ship, uh, you do manage to you just spray a bunch of I'm kind of like concrete around the edges. You, you 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 end up kind of like spiraling it in from the outside, right? So you, yeah. you start spiraling concrete around the rough edge where you've ripped this giant hole, <laughs> and then like it kind of overlaps and, overlaps and overlaps and overlaps and overlaps, and then finally you actually create what is largely an airtight seal there, and the room psst, repressurizes. Hey. Dope. Mm -hmm. uh, let's pick a way to go and start exploring, right? Can our, our, our mechs fit through the doorways? It's going to be a squeeze for some of them, right? Um, Just some of them. Yeah, these 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 five this. foot doors don't really work. You would be able to get through this ten foot door, you know, this thing. You would be able to get down this shaft. You're not sure if you'd be able to get down this thing. We can just push our way through. We don't want anything else to get a hold of these necks. That's a good fucking point. Sure. All right. So we just, just scrape on through. Okay, well, which direction do you want to go here? This hmm. way? Sure. This room 
Okay. <clears throat> so you, you kind of cut a hole through this bulkhead and you come into this room and there is this uh, enormous pulsating sphere that is connected by these webs of uh, bluish, bluish, uh, actually it's, it's more orange material, right? Uh, so there's this orange webbing and this thing is almost like pulsing like a heartbeat. Um, and it's filled with this luminous green fire. You can feel the god's fire just kind of roiling off of this thing. Uh, and you can tell that it, 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 it's flowing like around and through this particular orb. It's the um, This yeah. is it? Yeah. I mean, this is, I don't know how we take this, but. Well, I think he's just sucking it out of the ship. Yeah, right, I don't know how, I guess we don't need it anymore now that Varshala will have a body we after. We might still need it. We might still need it. Uh, maybe we can reverse, send it back somehow. Mm. There's a reverse Yeah, maybe button. there's a, a button, yeah. Uh, sure. I guess we'll look around and see if any of the switches make sense to my eye. Uh, so you look around and they don't make any sense to your eye, but you can tell that most of the paneling here is, uh, most of the controls are labeled in Elvish. Oh, right, yeah, this didn't come from here. I speak Elvish. I also do. Mm -hmm. I don't. Oh, I yeah? Speak. Oh wait, so no, I don't. That's true. Well, I don't either. I speak so I'm Sylvan. A, I'm the only one that can read it? Oh, yeah. God. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so it says uh, God's Fire Storage Node 5. It says God's Storage Fire. Storage Nailing node it. Nine. <laughs> it's, sorry, it's. Uh, yeah, I can read all this shit. Uh, it says. Uh, uh, it says uh, just throw up here? Grayson's awesome. Just quit making room. fun of him. Don't prank him anymore. No, it's, uh, I think there are five different storage container units, whatever these are. Wait, why five? Well, this is number five, so there's at least five. Okay. That seems as Not fun. anymore, now there's four. Don't you uh, Don't <laughs> you do that we'll Ding. die. <laughs> okay. Uh, God's fire explosion. Oh my god. There, so it's not the main it's not the only one. So read everything on the wall. Which one says Godfire reversal handle? <laughs> yeah. Which one's like turn if you want to reverse flow or something? Oh yeah, release Give me Godfire. An intelligence investigation check. Damn, get your smart on, boy. Oh, is it? Bet you would have the second one. Wish you yes. read that book. All right, that goes away. Oh, uh, or did it? Let me look here. Whoa, inspiration back again. Wow. I can't remember. Is triple inspiration unlocked? Yes. Yes, it is. Wow. You've got one left. Everything's unlocked. Get yes. all yes. here, baby. Mm -hmm. Fancy pants. Noted. You're the meaning in my life. Fourteen. Fourteen. Um, mm. It looks like there's some controls that would allow you to slow the flow with which <laughs> this thing is filling. Yeah. Uh, you can tell that it is. Uh, good question here. Uh, it is only forty percent full, so okay. it's it it has by far not reached its maximum capacity, and yet the amount of like yeah. the, the waves that are coming off of it are stunning. I can slow it down, at least for now. That's better than nothing. Yeah. So. Better than nothing. Do it. Okay. <laughs> you turn that one down. Next, uh, next plan of action. What would you like to do? Is there another one there in the are, back there? There are more <laughs> of these uh, metal tanks in here that are cold and. Uh, uh, you can see that the, these tanks are circulating with like a bright blue fluid. <laughs> Is there labels on them? Uh, they're coolant tanks. Oh, okay. I'll tell you that Probably coolant so the Godfire doesn't ex destroy the ship. No. Maybe. Just a nuclear power plant, essentially. I mean, in space. What Made are plant. you saying? I don't I'm saying understand. In regular voice. Yeah. Oh. What, still, what? <laughs> Same question. <laughs> now, I'm Havana right now asking, what are you saying? God, I don't know how space works. I uh, don't know how nuclear power plants well, work. Well, I know they needed coolant for whatever the last floor, um, so maybe we could, it'd be nice if we could take some of this at some point, but that's a later thought. Mm -hmm. Right now we're Well, if, or figuring. if we destroyed the coolant, the God's Fire would probably just destroy the ship. Yeah, but I like that. We wait till we're done, and yeah. then maybe that's a. Some I don't think we solution. want. We, I don't think we want a detonation of God's fire this close to the ship. 
Right, maybe we need some sort of timed advice. Mm hmm Yeah. Well, speaking of time, we're running out of it, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, it's true. I'll just take a nap. I'm so tired. <laughs> long rest, long rest. Long rest, long rest. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go up, did you say this was a shaft of some sort? That's what it looks like. Yes. You can also go yeah, here. Yeah, what about turn that guy down? That one looks exactly the same as this. So yeah, probably so not turn interesting. It. Let's just go this way. Are you being a sarcastic? Of course I'm being a sarcastic. Can, can well, you I hate go it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, um, give me another intelligence investigation check. You have advantage this time because you've interacted with this thing before. Good thing I have advantage. Oh. So to be fair, we didn't know that was there. Um, so that's going to be... Um, <laughs> I'm so <laughs> excited to see what those noises meant. That's <laughs> uh, going to be uh, a seven. The yeah. first one was a natural one. Yeah, so. yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> this one looks different. Very good. <laughs> Stab. Uh, yeah, lightsaber. Uses a chainsaw ah. hand instead. So, chainsaw so the, with the lightsaber <laughs> taped on it. So there's two things. Uh, one is that the configuration of this is different. It's It's got a lot more controls attached to it. And, and part of it is because you can tell that the, probably the capacity of this thing is easily, like, again, half as much as what the other one, the other one is. So it's, it's, it stores a lot more. And therefore, the the controls that that regulate the flow into this thing are this a little one doesn't more have complicated. Buttons. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's no buttons here. That's what it um, has to be. Mm, it's weird. What's it got? Uh, nothing. It's it's there's literally nothing to control. It's um, mm -hmm. you know, it says uh, we, sh we can move on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go okay. up this down this shaft. Uh, they both go down. Down mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're going towards the front one, yes? Yeah. Oh, the, the middle one? Mm -hmm. There's one in the middle. This is this one is one that you would fit down fairly easily. This one you're going to have to kind of grind your way through if you uh, want to get Let's go the middle one, that. I guess. Yeah. Mid. Okay. <clears throat> um, you go down the middle one. <clears throat> Someone bought poster boards. Oh, Someone yeah, got a deal at Swain's. Did you say Swain's? I did say yeah. Swain's. Cool. What's Swain's? 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 It's got lots of cool art stuffs. It's an art store? Art stuff, yep. Mm -hmm. Not Blick. Mm -hmm. There's one in Glendale. Yep. Oh. Swain's. It's All right. Cool. Got lots of paint. So, you go down that center area and you end up in this part of the ship. Okay. <clears throat> where's my where's my liquid paper let's put our minis in front of us shall we oh did you get this Trader Joe's croissants <gasps> what you got croissants in that bag <laughs> Trader Joe's croissants I brought everybody really? croissants why not do they have good croissants oh yeah you gotta buy the frozen ones that you, you leave them out overnight and then let them rise and then you bake them in the morning. Mm. They, have, huh. they have regular, or the mini ones, which are great, uh, the, and the almond are really great. The chocolate's fine, oh. you know. That sounds right. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> da -da 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 -da. The, the best I've found outside of Paris. Whoa. La -dee -da. I've been to Paris. Going again <laughs> oh. in a month. Mm. Oh my goodness! Wow, super lucky yeah. that. That's exciting. Though. Are That's you really gonna cool. have a croissant? I'm gonna have several. Several croissants, huh? What a life! That and apple juice. Mm. Oh, French cool. apple juice. Were these holograms? Hmm. Super friendly holograms. I don't like them. Oh, these guys are such a pain in the ass. Not in robot suits, they ain't. Oh, uh, yeah. Time to tear it up. Rip and tear, baby. It's chainsaw time. Rip and tear. Is this bone saw ready? Bone saw's ready! <laughs> you don't have I'm a ripping. Name you right have a, like a welding device. I got a claw on the other hand. Oh. All right. So you can see that there are eight robots on this uh, level who are these these 
bombs and warheads are coming up through oh, the oh. those are real through the through the through the huh. gap in the middle here, and these guys are busy like stacking them up on racks one after the other, one oh, after the other, one after okay. the other. Right? Okay. You can see that there's a bright greenish light, you know, shining Start up. Start firing from, indiscriminately from down below. <clears throat> I, I finally understand why he wanted the dogs fire. <laughs> Great. No, I think this was just a bonus. You think so? Yeah, because he just was like. God's fire is a magical thing that can give me a new body and make me a god, but also cool, cool explosions. I'll be a, the only nuclear power in the Forgotten Realms. Well, I don't know if these are nukes. I mean, they, these might just be rockets of some kind. Yeah, I suppose that's true. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, you know, you, you, you slide a couple hatches open and manage to uh, see this scene playing out ahead of you. What would you like to do? Should we find out by shooting one? We could use that, uh, wait, they're robots? <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. We could use that thing that uh, kills electronic stuff within a certain radius. For like six seconds. five sec feet though, isn't it? Yeah, for six seconds. Within mm -hmm. five feet, yeah. For six seconds, for five feet, six seconds, great. Yep. Uh, I say Autobots roll out. Yep. Or we could bring them in here so that we could fight them here without worrying about these bomb things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, is that just a very narrow hallway in front of that gray robot right there between those two things? This, this you'd well, you'd probably have to you'd probably have to punch a big hole in order to get through this door because it's only five feet wide. Oh, okay. Right. So let's be real stealthy. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, we could use the, the thing that makes us invisible for six minutes. Is that a total of six minutes? One use? Or can we, like, it's, it's hustle them? It's a minute, them? I believe. The light warper? Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you said six minutes. I don't think so, but oh. whatever. I wrote down six minutes. You wrote down 16 minutes. <laughs> I wrote down 60 minutes. <laughs> My favorite show. Uh, I mean... <laughs> It's a 10 foot radius and I believe it's for a minute. Where are we trying to go once we get past them? Is this where? What, I don't know what this is, I guess, yet. Uh, I mean, let's get in there. Or it, the thing is, if we, if we just make a hole in this and then they come to us, it's just like that main robot getting beat on while all the rest of us are kind of stuck around. So, you know, I mean, we can fight. get out of our robots. I'm also, also that main robot. That's my thing. <laughs> That's my thing is to stand there and get beat on while you guys kill everything. I say pile in there. Is there any rooms like beyond, like over here that have doors? You you can't see that far, right? Mm. So, so it's it's reasonable for you to be able to like crack, you know, one or two of these doors open and see up to here. But really, like what's in this part of the ship, you really wouldn't be able to tell. <clears throat> I mean. If you would be able to surmise them. that you're probably, you know, close to the bridge area, um, but, you know. Probably close to where all the controls that we want to access are forward. What did we have a disable tech for six seconds? That's five feet. Oh. We're, also, we're also giant robots right now. Yeah. Yeah, but giant robots that we that are a bunch of round of bombs. Yeah, but bombs used to have to be armed before they go off. In what video game <laughs> ever? <laughs> We're not in the video. Have you not seen uh, the Last Jedi? <laughs> mm. I mean, it, the, the thing is like. Hmm. Um, I'm just wondering, I could... It I seems could... to me you have a couple options, right? Just from what you, you all have dis discussed on the table. You can stay in your mechs and burn out a hole in the bulkhead here and full-on attack and see what happens with these various bombs and whatnot. Or you could switch on, you could get out of your mechs and switch on Avril's, or switch on the light feet. Light warper, the, basically the invisibility cone, mm -hmm. and move more stealthily. Well, let's just do that. And go to the bridge or whatever this thing is. I guess. Fair enough. Let's do that, man. Right. Okay. Be sneaky. Let's do it. Um, if it takes space. less than a minute, is there there's still power left in that to use it later? 
Yeah, it functions up to a minute. So if okay, we, so how long, if we do that, how long is it going to take us? Well, I would say you're going to have to open a couple doors and go, you know, probably 90 feet. So that's probably, let's say half, that's 30 seconds. <clears throat> All right. Please bring back Twix. So, uh, you're going to you're going to activate your invisibility field. Is that what you want to do? Sure. <laughs> Thank you for this offering. Crinkling mouth noises! Yay! Yay! <coughs> oh God! We know you have a trash pile under there now. All right, what's going on? So. Oh my God! <laughs> <a> terrible secret. <laughs> All right, uh, so your intention is to sort of end up on the bridge here? <laughs> my drunk right. uncle. Uh, my, my drunk uncle. My drunk, yeah. Very well, good. When we pass drunk by these rooms. Miniature. What do we see in the rooms we're passing, like these two rooms off to the side? All right, so first of all. OK, sorry. You have to walk kind of through this little gangplank thing here, right? Cool. In order to get there. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, and you can see down below into the massive cargo area uh, that's below you, and you can see that there are a number of those other pulsating clusters down in that cargo area, and they are being filled with God's fire, right? At least he's essentially drawing the God's fire out of the ship, is what you can tell. Uh, and yeah, so there's, there's, there's a lot of those and it looks like those, those power conduits have been replaced and you actually, uh, see that broad shouldered figure in the full plate, like coming back up and it looks like he's checking something, um, on the side of the wall, right? There's something on the on the side of the side of the wall that he is somehow manipulating or interacting with. Does right? he have a full plate helmet? And if not, does he have nails in his face? Uh, he has <laughs> he has a f he has a full plate helmet, but given the stance and posture. Uh, it is undoubtedly Baudry, Xanathar's right-hand major domo. <clears throat> uh, and given the twisted figure who he has on the end of his leash, you are very easily can surmise that that is Jinji. What the, why? Why did he bring him here? I thought he died. <laughs> no, he was, he was just beaten to a bloody pulp in a, in a burlap sack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he was like, you want him? <laughs> and we're like, maybe later. And, and the way that he's interacting with, uh, with, with Jinji, you just get, you know, you don't have all, you gotta kind of scurry through here, right? But the way that he's interacting with Jinji, you can tell that he's actually, you know, when I say he's over by the wall and somehow interacting with something with the ship, it's, it's much more, and when you get a look at it, it's much more that he says something to Jinji and Jinji has a hand out on the ship. And then Jinji, you know, leans over, and there's so much noise and whatnot going on that you can't tell what's going on. Um, but he he is communicating with Baudry about something, right? So uh, you you find yourselves in the cockpit of this craft. What? Mm -hmm. What would you like to do? What does it say, Grayson? Read some labels. All right, I'll start reading the labels. Okay, give me another intelligence investigation check, intelligence arcana check, whatever you would like, however you would like to you do that. Could you do arcana? Same. Yeah, you can use same arcana. Thing. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You it's fucked me same. over, boy. <laughs> uh, uh, dirty 20. Dirty Damn. 20. All right. Um, so you see a couple things. You can tell that there's... Wait, a, this is a Unix-based system. I know this. <laughs> I know this. Oh, my God. The oh my worst God. part of that movie. The worst part of a really great movie. Um... <laughs> So, there's a couple different <laughs> things. There's what uh, is that? Up? Jurassic Park? Oh. Jurassic Park. Yeah. It's not up? <laughs> it's not up. <laughs> it's like it's I am your dog. I'm hacking the system. <laughs> <laughs> there's a couple things that you notice. There's an intruder alert that's clearly going off. Right. Um, so that's happening. 
you can tell that the cargo bay is about 80% full of, the, or this, this part of the armament bay, or this part of storage, the upper, upper cargo bay is about 80% full. It's almost nearly fully loaded, right? Uh, uh, um, the lower cargo bay is only about 60% full. There's still some uh, work to be done there. Uh, the thing that disturbs you is that the uh, God's fire storage capacity, according to the sensors here, is rapidly approaching 80%. So they're pretty, they're getting pretty full on <laughs> how much energy they're draining from the ship. I don't know where the <clears throat> color of my shirt is. Yeah, that's um, like, <laughs> just grab the next flesh, this one. Yeah. Uh, the other part of it that disturbs you is that you see a readout on the ship that says uh, biologic regeneration chamber, and it's giving a countdown. And it looks like it's going to be complete within the next two minutes. Well, it's taking all the power out of that. <clears throat> Room out of that floor? No, I think draining the god fire is what's taking all the power. But, or maybe, I don't know. At least it's draining the power to transfer it to that thing. Yeah, but it's, he's using some of that right now for some it's purpose. Should, what does it say? Biologic regeneration chamber. And it's doing a countdown to completion. And it's, it, it's within the two minute mark. He might be growing himself a new body. Stop! Stop it! Turn! Turn it off. Okay. Do the, do the thing. Yeah, turn yeah. it off. Uh, yeah. Uh, this one. Oh, you know yeah. how, what? Give me a, a, another Arcana. I push him. Frank. <laughs> Out the window. <laughs> I just face. We all die. Uh, <laughs> he does it. Twenty-three. Oh, yeah, Twenty-three. <laughs> yeah. Frank came back on you. <laughs> Yeah, I I'm fall, but nice. I grab the perfect one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, you pause Jesus. the you pause the process. We can't you can't stop it, but it 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 it, it will it, you can basically sort of like taper it off. What if what if it's like vision and I can put I can put Jarvis in it now? Uh, that doesn't make any sense to me. So don't do that. Uh, can you? Turn those bombs off. Those, those God's fire oh, holding yeah. fin things. Well, I don't know if the bombs have any God's fire in them. Not yet. Um, well, so it was eighty percent full. Well, that, that, that I'm just. No, it's I, the storage capacity that's full. So like just how much room they have. Yeah, that's how much room is in there. Hmm. Um, oh. The the stuff that's packed in here is not. The same technology is not wired into the ship yet. Oh. If you want to, if you want to be grim about it, but um, yeah. So there's no readouts on any of these. These these are essentially all kind of like stacked in here. You know, like if you were stacking shotgun shells, you know, mm -hmm. in your basement or something like that. <clears throat> Can we stop the ship from pulling the gods fire? Maybe yeah, that's what we want to do. Uh, Ten. Yeah, uh, so. You think that that, that uh, without physically decoupling the the power cables, you wouldn't be able to stop it from the from the deck of the ship. Well, if we <laughs> unhook it, we can't reverse the process. Can we move this thing? The ship? Yeah, it's a vessel of some sort, right? So if we move oh, it away, it's going to have to. I mean, it can be moved. I don't know if we. But can. we we want to put the Godsfire back in the main ship. Yeah. Oh, if not, or at it's going to be stop work it from taking it. At least, yeah. but but I think ultimately we'd like to put it back in there because this ship's just going to die we, without it. I don't think we want anyone to have this. Yeah, we can't let it get off the. I mean, wherever we are, can't uh -huh. let it get get it, get away from here. Right. I mean, if, I, I, I suppose if we wait here, someone's going to have to come and check why that process stopped. And we have to jump on them. So, can I look up anything like about this regeneration, like, like any readouts of or anything else? To tell me like what it is. Sure. 
Um, six. Yeah. It was, uh... it, it, it's unclear. All you know was that it was started about seven, 17 minutes ago. Mm-hmm. 15 mm-hmm. minutes ago. I mean, they're growing something, and I can only think of one thing that Tanathar wants to grow. More of himself? Mm-hmm. A new version of himself, probably a better version of himself. Well, but our copies weren't better than we were. The, your dad's was, uh, and uh, the doppelganger was. He, he woke up that saying well, you he... You think Xanathar's hurt? He's dying. He's old. But it's not going to make him young again. That's it why is. one of the gods fires to make him well, a new body. Yeah. We don't know how all this works. There yeah. might be settings to make I mean, him young. That's true. We know, like, when, when that doppelganger came back, he said he felt better than he's ever felt before. Your father felt better than he's felt before. I think huh. it, may, it might be making him slightly... I mean, I don't think he, you know, the ones that we created were incredibly, you know, better than they used to be, but... I think Xanathar has the, the know-how to make himself much stronger than he ever was. Yeah. Well, we can't let that happen. Nope. And it stopped for now. Break the handle. Yeah. I, is that what it is? Uh, it's more of a, 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 a pattern of gestures that you do on a console. Huh. Yeah, I mean, I mean, could break this, but they, they built it. They could fix it. Not quickly. Yeah. And there's no way to reverse it? I don't know. Let me check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. No, there's no way. <laughs> Would you roll? To, to be honest, like this I, is this is this is totally. the sort of arcane technology that you know an archmage probably yeah, put together. I'm, so like I'm, you're way out of your league on I, this mm. thing. I, I've studied a little bit of magic, you know, but it's not my thing. I mean, Ava, the God's Fire is like a part of you. Do you have a way to control it or know how it might be controlled? Or I mean, it hurt me whenever we got attacked by it before, mm-hmm. so I yeah. don't know that I have that kind of control over it. Yeah. I think it's just a part of me. Mm-hmm. Is the God's Fire on our original vessel, is it, is it a, a finite thing, or is it, is it infinite power that's generated, that's being stolen? That will run out because it's being stolen so quickly. Well, the the the, the main issue right yeah. now is that there's so much power being drawn out of the other ship and into this ship, that the the thing that keeps this thing in transwarp space is shutting down, and that means the whole pocket dimension that you're in is going to collapse. Right? That's right. that's the main problem. Um, you also have been told that the engines have been running, you know, over capacity for hundreds of cycles and we're not designed to do that so they're in fragile condition right um so you know who knows maybe the ship can generate more power who knows for how long it's 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 not in a great place it's not it's not well maintained it's it's in trouble right on top of that there's the you know currently the silver plague is working its way through the ship trying to eat and destroy and infect you know all organic life that it can right I mean, I, I, I still vote that we cut the, the cables. Probably the best option right now. What if we could get all the bad things off this ship, and then we get all the good things off the other ship, and we all just fuck right off? I don't think that there's enough time to do that at the moment. Yeah. You yeah. gotta think Ooh. very yeah. quickly. And there are a lot of things on that other ship. Yeah. Yeah, probably things we don't even know of. Yeah. Like, I don't know how we move a congealed mass of former human brains. I would probably leave them. No, we can't leave them. They ask for our help. I can't. I can't leave them. They are literally like (sighs) seaweed. No, they're people who have had... But we have their essences in the uh, tubes. We don't. Not these ones. Are you sure? Yeah, that's why their brains are underwater screaming. Look, they're part of the water. Hey, Maybe when Basharla returns, she can do something about that. But for right now... But if now, we take all the power, she can't return. Yeah. We're not taking the power. We have to stop them That's from draining. That's why we got to put it back. Yeah, we have to put it back. I don't think it goes back. As far as we can tell, we can't put if it back. Anything that can go to something can go back to I'm something. I'm sure, but we, I don't know how. I don't know how yeah. this works, and we don't have time to think about we it. Why don't we ask her friends? Okay. 
Yeah, fair oh. enough. Oh. Hi, friend. Well, I, they don't, I don't know which one. Who are we talking to? They, <laughs> you talk to them. They, they can understand you better. <laughs> uh, this is technology from our world. Well, though. we can first t start talking to the doppelgangers because uh, they I understand this s side of it, probably. Sure, mm -hmm. sure. Hello. Um, so we, uh, the ship that is draining power, um, we're not exactly sure. Is it possible for us to send the, the God's Fire back the way it came? To send the power back? Uh, we're... We're we're not familiar with the type of technology that's being used aboard this craft, so it's not possible for us to answer that. Okay. Hello, we found power drain. Is uh, how we send it back? Uh, <laughs> there should be a way to uh, reverse the flow on the power conduit cables. Uh, usually there's a direct uh, switch which uh, changes polarity and uh, alters the direction of power flow. <coughs> sure. So I just have to find something that says <laughs> polarity. <laughs> Wait, it, ask him, is it on the cables or is it somewhere else that's controlling the cables? Who's talking? I hear, I I'm hear not talking, talking to you directly because you can't understand me because you stupid. I didn't make out what, it, it, sa what it, it says. It? Is it, mm -mm. is it, would it be mm -mm. on cables connected or to be on the, the, the ship that uh, is taking power? Well, I don't know what you think. I would put it on the cables if I was making it, but I'm not making, I'm not making this. No. Th <laughs> thank you. Liar. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, so, um. Just, just so you know, uh, <laughs> things with the trans warp are. We're looking at five minutes oh before the induction coils oh are God. too cool to uh, support the uh, field the ship is in. So hey. maybe do something soon. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta jump down we, the hole. We, we oh. do, we oh. do this. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't, don't know what most you say, but uh, we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, Good luck to you. <laughs> so we gotta go. Okay, let's do that. All right. What does that mean? What are you gonna do? Five you're currently minutes. in the. Uh, <laughs> you're currently in. Pass the, out. Uh, in the, uh, 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 the, the in the in the bridge. You're currently in the bridge. Oh, is there something in the bridge that controls those little robots? Uh, 18. Oh. Uh, it... <laughs> Going to Crinkle Town over there. Welcome to Crinkle Town. <laughs> it's not in front of the mics like you guys opening those fucking Twixes. Yes. I opened mine over here. Yeah, I did mine under the table. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Um, and then I ate it like this. I didn't know Avril's mom was here. <laughs> you, Damn. <laughs> you can see something that says um, that that says uh, antenna rebroadcast junction. Antenna rebroadcast junction. And this looks like a piece of equipment that has actually been fused into the ship. It looks like technology from the Valerius that has somehow been fused into the. Does panel it look like here. one of those boxes, like the the command boxes that we found before? No, it's just it's 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 a metal box that has a couple of uh, different little colored panels on it, and whatnot. That that and a, a couple of metal grills on it. <clears throat> but it's clearly their technology that is then has a couple of weird tentacles like melded into it. I need your oh. eye. What? I mean, I need you to look at something. Oh god. Yeah, not like <laughs> this is out. this is from the ship, like not this ship, but the other one, and it's integrated into this. But uh, this is. It has to do with the robots. Okay, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Mm -hmm. So you can tell that this is s s some sort of retransmitter that collects information from the robots and then pumps it into the brain of the ship. Okay. Uh, mm. Is there any sort of switch there? It's got colored switches. Oh. Uh, uh, it has it has l l lit up panels. It doesn't... Uh, 
it does not have any manipulable surfaces to it, as far as you can tell. There's a couple of grills and whatnot, but there's no kind of like dials, knobs, buzzers, switches. But it doesn't identify like the that. colorful panels at all. Uh, the, the those panels that you see on there are, are various status panels that tell you how many robots are currently connected to the, to the unit, whether you know how well functioning the network is. Um, uh, you know what what the traffic is like, etc. So it's it's uh, really sort of like okay. status. The, the, Google. This just tells me how the robots, how the constructs are doing. What the fuck? We can't do much more than that. So as far as I can yeah. Do. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you can tell that currently there's approximately sixty robots uh, connected to this particular junction. That's a lot. Uh, we can't turn them off. Not not that I can see. Let's. Get our mechs, maybe, or can we go down well, to those we, cables? We can make, we can use the rest of the juice in this light warper to go to, into the gap between all the bombs and then jump directly down into the cargo bay. Right, but wouldn't we, we die? Need the mechs first, huh? Wouldn't we die? Because we can't breathe. Oh, it, it, not if the cargo bay is closed. I mean, that, that's an open space right there. We could see down into the cargo yeah. bay. If we were going to die, we'd be dead. We'd be dead. Unless right. it's like a door mechanism. That well, let's find out. What the fuck's going on? <laughs> I don't know. Is that, that, is that the plan? Is you're going to turn yourselves invisible and... Well, yep. but is yeah. that an open area? Yeah, that's the, definitely an open okay. area. Okay, yeah. so yeah. You we would have already died. Without, yeah, you would have... You would have if, 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 if the ship was depressurized in that level, you would have... Yeah, you would have... You would have noticed. Okay, so... But, okay. So that's op apparently there's some sort of atmosphere in the cargo bays. So okay. The long and short of it. Let's go down there. Cool. Okay. All right. Well, we've got to be ready to fuck up Bra Baudry and fucking. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. I'm ready for that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if we free Genji first, maybe he'll help us. Why would he do that? Because he's You guys redeemed. are like best redeemed friends. Redeemed. What? If he's your best, best friend, friend. If he's you your like best friend, he'll help. I went him. out of your way to save him. I did not go out of my way to save I him. I, go, I went out of my way to capture him. There's a difference. This guy like, sounds helpful now. He looked a lot like him. saving. And he's your best friend. We'll if what, we save him, he'll definitely help us. We'll we see. free him from his literal chains. I you assume, don't think he'll help us? I assume he'll 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 turn sides until it's convenient for him, and then he'll turn sides. Well, great. Fine. Let's take it one step at a goddamn time. Fine. Fine. <laughs> I'm not pulling my neck on the line for him, but I will. Oh, then let me. Oh, then let me go down first. Okay. Let so, me. Well, we have to stick together for the. For the you guys take it. I'll just sneak by the robots. Oh, okay. And I have spider climb. Okay. And I'm gonna fucking try to f climb on the ceiling of that cargo bay mm -hmm. and fire m wave at the chain and try and break it. There's, there's six of them, right? <laughs> there's six of these power cables. Is that what you're talking about? No, at, at Genji's chain. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All right. Okay, so. Cool. Great. So the rest okay. of you are taking the the the, the six the, the the thirty seconds of invisibility generator that are left and are going to yes. kind of follow up afterwards. If yes. I don't, all right. Make so it. So we're leaving make the mechs behind. Avril. <laughs> I'll get you decided. everything I knew. A soulless Avril. Yes. For now. Fill her whatever, with whatever, knowledge. Whatever that You're means. You're Avril. I'm your brother. <laughs> Damn it. You love me. Never mind. Don't replicate me. <laughs> <laughs> all right.